Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back today to a, another replay by me and today I have got for you a tank that I feel is very underrated I feel I'm playing the Panther M10 it's the tier 7 German premium medium tank um, we're in a tier 8 game there's three tier 8s and obviously uh, five tier sevens, seven tier sixes. God, that's a tongue twister, and I'm also crap at English. Um, but yeah, so we're playing it in the Panther M10 now. This thing, I, I like I said before, and probably like it's in the video title. I think this thing is really, really underrated. It's um, a Panther tank. Obviously, it's got additional spaced armor on it. Which means that it's actually quite good. Come on, Max, notice that you've got a dead loader. Notice that you've got a dead loader. Notice that you've got a dead loader. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a panther that has that is disguised to look like a Panther M10. So it's got spaced armor over the sides here. You can see there's also spaced armor over the front of the hull. The front of the hull actually ends there. And then the rest is spaced armor. There's also bits of spaced armor over the side. All of the spaced armor is used, is there to make it look like... An M10 Wolverine from a Panther. The Germans, I think they actually did do this in World War II um, for one operation or something like that. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they did. I think I remember when I got this tank, I read up on it. And um, what makes this tank good is the fact that they actually, obviously, in game, count as spaced armor. So if you angle this thing, I'm showing it so much this game, and I don't think this game it actually is shown that much, but especially when you're against lower tier tanks. This thing can bounce quite a lot of rounds, and if things fire heat rounds at you, things like, I don't know, the Panzer IV-H, M4 Sherman, if they're firing heat rounds, they've got next to no chance of going through, because the majority of this tank, I think the only part of this tank that um, doesn't have spaced armour on it is the sides, I, oh, bloody views messed up, there we go, is the sides, like beneath here, and also this rear bit, the rear rear bit, down here, or the top of the, top of the turret at the rear. Other than that, it's pretty much all, all got at least some spaced armor. I mean, it's only, I know it's only about 5 mil. But when it comes to heat warheads, that's that's enough to uh, trigger trigger them and mean that they lose a massive amount of penetration before they actually hit your tank. Which is quite nice. The other thing that makes this tank really, really nice is it has the 75 uh, millimeter. Is it the KWK 42L70? Possibly. I might be wrong in saying that, but it's the same gun as uh, is the historic gun on the Panther, and the same gun that you get in game on the E25, which means that it has a really, really good rate of fire. The rate of fire is not quite as good as the E25. Obviously, the E25 is a tank destroyer, not a medium tank. But you can see here, it takes people to pieces quite quickly, and there you can see the armor as well. That uh, Type 58 was he got about 130 millimeters penetration in thereabouts. And he was bouncing quite consistently off my tank. If you can get this thing hold down as well, its armor is actually really, really good. The accuracy and the aim time are also really, really nice. Unfortunately, the penetration is a little on the low side for tier 7, 150. And the alpha damage as well, only being 135, means that you, you haven't got that one-shot potential. Not many people are scared of coming around the corner and taking a shot from you with 135 average damage. But the overall DPM is quite good because of that crazy rate of fire on the tank. I have actually done a tank review on this tank, so if you want to want to hear all of the stats and everything about this tank, I'll, I'll probably leave a link in the description if I remember. But again, this is asking me to remember something. It might not happen. So we come up into the middle of the town. I've got to say we're on the Siegfried line map. It's assault and we're defending. I came, went round, um, helped with the northern flank of the map. And then um, advance round, came through the middle, and now I'm engaging a Tiger 2. That's another thing that's annoying with these, with the low alpha damage on this tank. You saw there, I didn't quite have the alpha damage to finish off that Tiger. That, uh, to finish off the Tiger 2. To take the Tiger 2's tracks off, which was kind of annoying. But with the Tiger 2 distracted by the A44, as he was just about to drive at me, obviously I struggled to pen this thing frontally. Oh, Max, that was a terrible shot. I struggled to pen the Tiger 2 frontally with my um, standard rounds. I should point out as well, on the premium rounds, you have 194mm penetration, which is good, but still, you're, you're kind of 50 50 whether you're going through the lower plate of an unangled Tiger 2 or not from close range, obviously, when you're shooting down on it. 
which kind of means that there I had to get around him, so I saw him face his front to me, so I decided to go around, killed the T-3485 in the process, and got around his back, and quite conveniently, he was distracted by the A40, A43? Yeah, the A43. As we came around, now I kind of make a bit of a boob here. As a Ferdinand, I'm like, ooh, I reckon the T-29 has just sniped his weak spot, and then I realised, hang on, he's driving away quite quickly. And I've got his rear. So if I'd have just kept going there, driven around, I could have possibly got another one, maybe two shots in. And unfortunately, he just drives off before I can get another couple of shots in. And the game kind of runs away from me a little bit at the end here. I thought I was going to be having a really, really good game. But, I mean, this is a good game, and I just wanted to show... Because I don't think I've shown this tank on my channel in a while. It's... Oh, this is, well, set the 12T on fire. To add insult to injury, I'll just ram him. <laughs> and it, 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 it didn't even feel like he was there. Horsepower turns not quite good enough on this tank. The FV comes up. Oh dear, A43, I wouldn't have done that if I were you. There's a shot of the FE. I fire, but unfortunately the T25 AT finishes him off. However, we picked up 3,843 damage that game. Four kills, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show this tank a bit on the channel, because I really do think this thing is underrated. And it, I think it was added... Was it... Because it was taken away so you couldn't buy it with gold. And then I'm pretty sure they've added it back again so you can buy it with gold. So it's in the tech tree. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But if this thing is on sale and you're looking for a a, a, premium, a German premium tank to train up your uh, German medium crews. Yes, you've got the um, Panzer 58 Mutz. But obviously some people don't want to spend that much money. This thing is... Definitely good, still makes the credits. A very good tank tier for tier. If you can get this thing in a... Um, I think it's got preferential matchmaking as well. So if you can get this thing where it's top tier, or a game like this, and you're up against the tier 6s, this thing absolutely tears them to shreds, because most tier 6s will struggle to pen you frontly, especially if you're angling. And your gun against tier 6s is phenomenal, and will just tear them to pieces. As you saw me doing to that um, Type 58... It would do it to almost any tier 6 the exact same. But yeah, that was just a quick game today, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm not going to show you the post-game stats because it's pretty, pretty pretty standard. What you see is what you get. 3,800 damage. Um, four kills. And I'm pretty sure that was it was quite a lot of uh, base XP, which is quite nice. But yeah, like I said, guys, um, go check out the uh, Panther M10 tank review if you... If you are more interested in this tank, and I go through the stats a lot more, obviously. And there's more race tank gameplay on the end of that as well. And if I remember, I'll put it in the description. But this is my brain, so don't hold, don't, don't hold me to that. And yeah, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.